Welcome back to Carnadies.org. Today we're going to be continuing with our series, Six Months of Set Theory and Higher Order Logic. This is month two, looking at operations and relations. In this video, we're looking at what are compound operations in set theory. Now, just like arithmetic operations or logical operators, we can use parentheses to combine different operations in an order. You first do the operation in the innermost parentheses, and you work your way out, just as you would in math. So, if you are given a class defined as A minus C intersection with B union with D, you would first find the difference between A and C, then you would take the intersection between that new class and B, and finally you would take the union of that new class and D. So this could be read as the class that is the union of D and the class that is the intersection of B and the difference between C and A. Note that in these situations, this long expression is just defining one class. We are not proving anything, and we are not even making a statement with a truth value. This could be part of a statement with a truth value, but because it doesn't have any logical operators telling us and, or, these kinds of things, we're not making a statement with a truth value. We're just defining one specific class or set. Here's some more examples to clarify, where A doesn't equal B, doesn't equal C, doesn't equal D, doesn't equal the null set. We have the union of the class of A and the class of B minus the class of A equals, first we do the things in the parentheses, so that's just the class of A and B minus the class of A, which just equals the class of B, because we take the A out of that initial class. Then we have, let's say, the intersection of the difference between the class of A, B, and C, and the class of C, and the class of A and C. That's just going to be equal to, well, we do what's in the parentheses first, and we take the C out of that first class to just get the class of A and B, and we have that intersected with the class of A and C, and we're left with just A, because that's the only thing they have in common. And then we have the intersection between the union of the class of A and the class of B and the union of the class of C and the class of D. We do what's in the parentheses first, so we get the intersection between the class of A and B and the class of C and D, which is just the null set because they don't share any members. Up next, we're going to take a look at the absolute union of a set as opposed to the relative union which we've covered so far but first take a look at these exercises and try them for yourself and then hit subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can see make sure you catch the next video where we'll have the answers so first off our class definitions same as they have been in the past try these exercises the intersection of c and d a and c minus d the union of a and d minus b the intersection of A and B unioned with the difference of B and D, and the difference between the union of B and D and the intersection of C and D. As promised, here are the answers from yesterday's exercises. We have the difference of A and C, remembering that these are the same class definitions we had last time. So the difference between A and C is just going to be the class of B, because if we take the C and D out of A, all we're left with is B. The difference between B and D is just A, because the only thing that B and D share is E, so we pull out the E from B and we're left with A. The difference between B and itself is just going to be the null set, because there are no members left once we pull all the members out of B. And similarly, the difference between C and A is going to be the null set, because we pull, because since C is a subclass of A, when we take all the members of A, which are also in C, out of C, there's nothing left in C, so it's just the null set with no members. Watch this video and more here at Carnades.org, and stay tuned every single day this month for a brand new video on set theory. Stay skeptical, everybody.